Let's talk about finger placement on the oboe and how to hold the instrument. Uh, left hand is going to be on top, right hand is going to be on the bottom. Left hand is pretty easy because you're going to have holes in each of the keys where your fingers are going to rest. So I'm going to do first finger, second, third. My pinky is going to hover over this key, but it needs to be able to stretch and use all those keys. Keep it nearby. And the back, your thumb will oct your thumb will operate this key, but for now it's just going to be underneath. In your right hand, it's very similar. The only key you have a hole for is your middle finger. But here's your first, middle, and third, and then your pinky again is going to operate these. On the back, the whole weight of the oboe is going to be held with your thumb. So this thumb rest is going to sit in between your nail and your knuckle, and that holds most of the weight of the oboe. Make sure when you have this holding position that your fingers are kind of pointed down. You can see that my knuckles are facing up towards me and then your wrists are actually straight. So it's kind of like all of your fingers are pointing down towards the bell. Make sure that the holes are sealed and you're using the pads of your fingers instead of the tips. The more you practice, the stronger your thumb will get. The angle for your instrument should be at about a 45 degree angle, so that's above your knee.